Thank you very much. That was uh, really very beautiful, very enlightening. And as the MC today, I'm not allowed to cry, <laughs> right? But as your sister, I am. All right. But um, I'll pull myself together till the end of this beautiful program. All right. So thank you for that introduction, Nazri. So, ladies and gentlemen, there will be two forums this morning, followed by a messy play demonstration by occupational therapists. All right, so our first forum will commence shortly. All right, but before I invite the moderators and the panel, sorry, the moderator and the panelists on stage, allow me to provide uh, a brief introduction of them. All right. So the first person I'd like to introduce is Dr. Raja Jonita Raja um, who will be our moderator for both forums this morning. She provides tertiary diagnosis and management for children with developmental disabilities and coordinate interdisciplinary treatment with rehabilitation services. Dr. Raja Jonita graduated from the University of Nottingham in the United Kingdom and completed a specialty training in pediatrics in London. She returned to Malaysia and was an associate professor at the University of Bangsa and Malaysia before joining Pantai Hospital for the Dr. Raja Jonita is an active member of the Malaysian Pediatric Association and has been invited to lecture in local and international conferences. The first forum today is theme, Parenting a Child with Autism, the journey. We have two parents with children on the spectrum who are actively creating awareness on autism with us here today. I think that is, you know, uh, really wonderful thing, right? Creating awareness is the way forward. Uh, the first person I would like to introduce is Ms. Nori Abdullah. Um, she is the co-founder of We Rock the Spectrum in Harada Masara. She is a mother to a boy with autism. Recently, she managed to raise funds for 50 underprivileged children to receive therapy through play or free at We Rock the Spectrum in Harada Masara. is our second panelist for the first forum. He is a father to a young man with autism. He founded Autism Cafe Project Malaysia, a social enterprise that helps you with autism start their own small business. Most of the booths set up outside today are from Autism Cafe Project. I would be amazed to see uh, what a wonderful job they do. So let us now welcome our moderator and our panelists onto the stage. For those who are unable to join us here today, we're also happy Thank you so much for coming. I think um, this is a very important event and I hope very informative for everybody. Um, my brief was to just briefly talk about the diagnosis and just generate parents' acceptance and why it's difficult uh, and why it's important um, to accept the diagnosis. Although everybody uh, has their own journey and takes their own time um, to accept having a child with autism spectrum disorder. Um, I, I just want to talk a bit about diagnosis because in Malaysia, um, we, our, our services are quite scattered. Um, and we don't have many pediatricians who practice in this area in development of behavioral pediatrics. And so sometimes that just can take time. However, I would say that often parents are the first people to notice um, that, uh, that there are differences maybe in their child development and behavior. Okay? So actually, parents are one of the most important. Um, uh, uh, the, the most important people involved, okay? And raising awareness with um, forms such as this is very important. Um, now, the diagnostic procedure in Malaysia often involves um, seeing a doctor. Most, most parents will approach their pediatrician first. And in fact, most pediatricians, you know, they do also have some sort of idea, yeah, that, that possibly um, also spectrum 
terms of the like in the, the diagnosis, yeah. But one of the problems we have is there's no specific X-ray or brain scan or blood test um, which can make the diagnosis diagnosis just like that. Okay. So um, and in the younger children, so we're talking about one and a half to two and a half, there will be some children with milder symptoms. And not all the classic symptoms of autism spectrum disorder. Um, so sometimes when children present quite early, it can be difficult to make the diagnosis and it might take time and observation. So sometimes there is a delay. Okay. Um, and the pediatricians, and including myself, um, we may actually defer diagnosis. We might know that, the, that there may be such features, but it doesn't mean we want to delay um, treatment. Okay, so even if a child does have symptoms and may not have the definite diagnosis of autism yet, we often we would recommend um, some therapy or some treatment, yeah, because we know that even let's say if, if the child doesn't have autism spectrum disorder, yeah, and it's something like maybe a speech delay or other developmental delays, therapy does help or some sort of intervention does help. Okay, so we might not. Um, it, it's so helpful to um, get an opinion. Now, I try not to um, say to parents, oh, I understand and I know it's difficult because I everybody, every child is different and every parent's challenges are different and um, we are here to advise and support. And, um, advice, support, and guide. Yeah? And um, don't be afraid to, to ask. Don't be afraid to inquire. Um, I agree very much with Ms. Desiree because um, the internet, I have to say there's a lot of um, very, very interesting opinions. And, 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 and um, you know, I, I would be saying as well, with anything, just, just you know, um, uh, Constantly searching, constantly looking for information. Um, but you will find that sometimes too much information can be very difficult. Okay? So do um, look for websites which are um, uh, which are established. Okay? Often you can get that advice from your uh, health professional or whichever professional teacher. They will be able to give you. Um, information um, of um, websites where they're established and they do have some sort of basis in their information. Okay? Um, many parents are part of um, uh, autism support groups and that, 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 that's really, really that's helpful as well. Um, we do find that the established autism support groups also have professionals part of the, the group. Um, and that's that can be helpful. Sometimes they act as moderators and give opinions as well. Um, so uh, that's helpful. I learned so much from parents actually. I really, because there's, again, there's so much out there. Okay? Um, and um, it is also a journey for me with parents and, and children as well. Okay? I'm not going to talk so much about treatment or therapy because that's not that's not what this this uh, form is about. This form is about um, your child and um, parents as well. But uh, overall, uh, that's just what I want to say about autism in general. Um, I know that this is not going to be a lot of questions and answers as well, and uh, I'll be happy to take uh, any to be an Okay, thank you.
they all have to be very hard to meet in different forms. If your parent, especially in chat, you have to see the rounds, and then you have to do the rounds, and then you have to do the rounds, and you have to do a lot of stuff as well, and continue to be observed. Get on the spot, because for few ways, you know, some of these things are quite apparent. Um, some of these in terms of some of the features of him being different, right? and this yeah, was like, you know. um, For us, again, fortunately, uh, because we always already had the children and child differences, it was not so much the whole thing, except that it was a complete shock, but it was like, okay, actually, look, what are you doing now? You know? Let's get going, let's get going. So everything then uh, began. Like, oh, you know, occupational uh, therapy, uh, speech therapist, you know, every intervention. And I will always remember two pieces of advice that I got from our pediatrician and our pediatrician, which I kind of tried to pass on, which is one, the only wrong thing you can do is to do nothing. Is to sort of be in denial and like it's okay, or there's absolutely nothing I can do. This is my unnatural sugar or gift, and this is my, my you know, just responsibility or burden or something. That's it. So just accept. But accept at that level of okay, there's nothing I can do about it. That's probably the only sort of role that we can do for your child. If there's so many, many things that you can do, and you're probably going to continue to learn. We've been on this journey for seven years and we're still, still learning and still trying so many different things. Now, the other piece of advice, which I got from Mr. Jimmy, was educate yourself. Learn more. Do the whole kind of training thing. Get to know as much as you can. And I also discovered later that it was not just to learn as much about autism, learn as much about my son, it was also a journey of self awareness. Something that I needed to learn about myself and um, how this is a big, tremendous journey of you know, because of that. Because I understood not just what was going on in the dynamics that was happening to him, but what was happening when I was interacting with him. And for me, especially when we proceeded to, to start to meet up a lot and also attend uh, talks, courses, everything we could kind of possibly do. Now, I think we are very, very fortunate, and Kimo is very, very fortunate. As Desiree had mentioned, when you have someone with special needs in the family, uh, it, it is really very, very uh, expensive to get access to services, to therapy, and, and, and all this. So I, I have to say, and I want to acknowledge how blessed and lucky we are that we have been able to access a lot of different things. But what I learned in the last seven years is, you know, probably one of the most important things, the most critical thing that I actually can, you can do for your child is not attached to needs, and that is to have a grit, to have patience, and to believe. And believe, what I mean by believe is that believe in the potential of your child. That first of all, your child is still your child. This is a human child, you know, all the other things that you should remember or imagine when a child comes into your world, you get a kid, it's still your kid. It's going to be a little different, right? But everybody inherently has their own potential. Now, there's going to be, for those of you who are parents here or you know, those involved in the field and work with the children, there are days you really want to chuck this thing out of the window when you're like, Everything, whether it's uh, you know blood, sweat, and tears. Literally, I've gone through all of, of those things. And some days, okay, some days are definitely harder than others. But it is critical. It is so so absolutely critical to have this to continue to to sort of be able to okay take a step back or, or breathe or finally get a bit of rest or something. Or sleep on it overnight, but wake up the next morning believing that something can be done and there's hope and, and there's things that we can still do. 
Um, there's going to be setbacks. We've tried many, many things uh, for the intervention in terms of things for being based uh, on those people who are learning that we become very familiar that this is one of the, you know, uh, recognized or established approaches. But there are also so many, many other ways. And then some days you'll feel like you've taken a little teeny tiny step forward, which is only like five and ten, and then you have to take like two massive steps, giant leaps back. There are going to be days like that too. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you know, keep looking, keep exploring, keep trying, and, and then you find something that works. And I tell you, those little moments are the ones that, that makes it happen. Right? So take a long term view. We're talking about something that's developmental. So by definition, that means that progress as it goes along and you find other things. For us, our next big thing is beauty. <laughs> yeah. um, already not an easy topic with any child, I think, especially parenting today with all the social media, all the everything you're exposed to, but you know, even more critical, I think, you have to break things down as you do with children who learn to um, And you know, and I think the realization that um, you know, we need our child to learn, and we need to see how they can also find a way, find a place in this world, and, and, and live, you know, live in society, in your family, and all that. But also, what we learn along the way is that we need to also find ways to accommodate, right? Which is why when we talk about awareness these days, we immediately talk about acceptance, understanding, and we also want to be able to talk about inclusion, which is amongst um, the tough things to do because that involves a whole lot. Now, after all the reading, and I appreciate the story in the world, and I had Google like this as well, I went to go and find everything, everything. Um, there was a time when I stopped. Just needed a break, and we were just in, let's do, do more, you know, action more. But we got to, we did along the way discover some reading material that was, that was very, very useful. In fact, life changed for us. That's the book that Kanye has talked about. A book that I found uh, called uh, Naked Human by Barry Guzant who's a speech uh, pathologist, so speech therapist is what it takes a really long time. And essentially, his you know, view was very simple. That it's not just having to work with the child to get that child to adjust and live in this world, but the world needs to help. And I think we do for other areas of disability, especially when it's something that we can see. We have ramps by law in certain buildings to make sure wheelchairs can have access. Any years that you enter is going to be something that Feel sort of like gray, so those who cannot see still can use that later. But it's hard to understand somebody with a developmental and intellectual um, difference, you know, disability or whatever you want to describe it, because you can't really see it, right? It, and it manifests itself in these really unusual ways, right? Hands flapping sometimes and behaviors that we don't quite understand, having people question, right? Like, What's going on there, you know? And and and, and that, that first instinct is to go, hey, something's wrong. It's, it's, it's not easy to understand. But essentially, this, this is what's going to need to happen, and that's why we also as a family take a step to want to share and speak out more publicly because it's for our own child, and, and it, it's going to be important for other kids who are like our son. Um, and um, what we can do, and for, for, for everybody else too. So all the wonderful research and data that we've learned recently is about how diversity and you know, which is going to come from inclusion, right? Accepting that everybody is here and people come from different places. It is so critical and in fact beneficial to any group organization that has small. And guess what? We're Malaysians. What about DNA? It's part of what I believe. I always believe this is something that's made us strong. Our little country can punch in order to win one because we've always had this. Now we just need to up that level to neurodiversity, which is a different way of thinking, the way different ways we brain operates, and it will benefit everybody. So it's not just your child. So for us, I mean, for me, absolutely, I feel like she came is a blessing. And I think finally he would have taught me so many more things that I have been brought in. Because you know, when you work with them, you start to appreciate how things are different. You start to build your empathy grow. And we know now these are the values that we are trying to teach our children in the world kindness, compassion, empathy. Nobody talks about nice guys finishing last thing, 
you know, thanks to empirical data and research that proves that these other things find places. That's what's important for the world. It's very, very much needed. So having somebody around you who thinks very differently, who looks like it might need a lot of support, is going to benefit you. You learn how to deal with an uncertainty, something that's outside of your comfort zone. And of course, that person is you extend your willingness to support and be kind, will benefit from what you know, you're willing to do. So I think that's why we ended up with the gym. We have a gym called the Yorker Spectrum. It's a gym for all children, all abilities, and it's a fun indoor play center. And our equipment is the kind of equipment that therapists use. Typically, occupational therapists have to do therapists in American franchise. Um, Kyrie found it when we were fortunate enough to go to the US for Special Olympics thing and during the year and when these things happen. And he found this business like, wow, all the kids can come and all the kids can have fun. And the motto is a place where you never have to say you're sorry. Not to say sorry because I don't know you won't day and you don't apologize for that, but it's a place where you never have to say sorry for being different. Everyone is wonderful. And we decided to take that a step further, you know, after understanding the things that were so difficult that you know that's really shared with you. Not so much about recognizing and understanding that how it's different, but all the stuff that we apparently need to do for our child was important. Anywhere from 150 to 300 we need for an hour with the therapist. And at the same time, we're also told that therapy has to be done. Pretty good, pretty good. Again, we want to do it. And then I thought, how do we do it? You know? So we launched therapy today, and what we've decided to do. Um, a bit ambitious, but I'll start to release a presented with the 50 kids. I, I firmly believe that every child who needs therapy should have access to it, and it can be affordable. So we worked with some amazing people at the Energy Source for you know, their specialist uh, you know, expertise. Everybody got together. We raised funds for the group that needs this the most. So if you are in a BOT level of income with a special child, not only is it going to be free, we've incorporated things like your know, allowance for attendance, transportation, but pay you to show up because the commitment is so important. And by being able to do that, we have then lowered the cost for everybody else. So, I, you know, my, my analogy to people in trying to understand our therapy to play program is actually quite simple. So many of us have perhaps gone to a gym or understand how a gym, fitness gym works. We go in. You get some kind of screening, they tell you where you want to be, you talk about your goals, what you want to do, right? Now, if you have a lot of money, you get a personal trainer. Personal trainer will do everything with you. And of course, things will happen if you don't work with a personal trainer. But does that mean you don't get results if you don't have a personal trainer? No, it doesn't. Jim will give you a program for you because of what you need to do, right? What you need to do, you need to commit, you need to show up, you need to put in the work. But you too can get results. And honestly, it's the same for therapy today, and that's what we're kind of offering you. Know? We appreciate that you are very conscious and aware sometimes of not telling parents, I understand, I know what you're going to do. Because it's really hard. And I have to say that it can be everything from lonely to frustrating to painful. But I tell you, it's also, again, that more blessing, the most rewarding. And you know that, that those days of your little achievements of your success, you know, things happen with with Timor and, and the things that he can do, like he's got amazing skills as well for whatever his difficulties are. He draws beautifully, like perfect straight lines without a ruler. You can see things like visual spatial skills that are insane. He builds things on like Minecraft backwards and he flips it around and it's exactly what it's supposed to look like in 3D. Uh, you know, he sings and he He's happy, he gets along with his brothers, and you know, everybody can have a level of understanding. He has a little brother who's just four. So you're thinking, what is the little one going to know? But you know what? Because we've been very conscious about it, he knows. He's much more kind and generous to the second abang than his big abang. Second abang, he will share more, he's more patient, and you can see that sense of pride when the abang connects and wants to do something with him, and he can't even see it. You know, Puma wants to do this, and Timo wants to do this with me, he played with me like he's proud. Because somehow he knows, he knows that this brother needs a little bit more patience and support. 
it's, it's, it's amazing. So we all can do a little bit. I think we all definitely can make a difference. Do not doubt that this is a part of the situation, but every single one of you can. And for those who are like the race at the moment, to be part of this field, you know, um, just keep exposing yourself, keep uh, learning. Um, it's parenting is like parenting any child. I don't think there's really an end. And um, you know, and, and you want to be able to do the same. Please think about the same goals anyway that you have for all your kids. Essentially, independence, happiness, right? Happy purposeful life. You can have those same goals. It's just going to look a little bit different, but you should. So you need to do everything that you would do for your kid, typical children, in a little bit different ways. So you know, don't overshelter them. Don't feel that they can't do stuff. I mean, we saw just two years ago how we were so excited about our Paralympians. And they all came from families who believed that, you know, that the kid could do more and achieve so much more. So it could have been a situation where, you know what, I would have to look after this kid forever and not know what's going to happen to him when I go. But with those kids, they're not completely looking after their parents. Just like any other child that you imagine or expect to. So, you know, keep at it. Again, great patience, belief, and great just means continuing, persevering, and moving on, even if you're the doctor, you need to go late, and you have a bad day, and just fill that out. And so much stuff out there also will show you to support how all of these things absolutely help. Thank you so much. Was not there. And, uh, uh, 
even when uh, Shukra Pan is a bit lost. You know, it's like something is wrong, but you can't be more conscious enough. Because when he was born, it was perfect. Nothing wrong physically with him. Nothing wrong. Now, if you talk about uh, you know, active child, drug, drug, plus, I mean, here and there, the same thing with others. You know, so, what's wrong with him? But here you can't really find certain things. It says that this is something that is not normal, you know? So like, for instance, uh, when he was about um, one and a half, you know, yeah, start, that, that started showing around that, that particular age of um, uh, When he arrives home, he will quickly he will put his slippers or his shoes in pants. When we need in pants. So I thought it was for me. I, I can't stand messiness. One, one of the things about me, I can't stand messiness, you know. You should see my wardrobe, you know. I, you know, we went to, we went to the office, guys, and we went to the right? I have shades of blue, all in blue, perfectly placed. <laughs> <laughs> so, all in place. I have my. Um, I guess those are. Uh, I have my my you know white white shirt, you know, uh, with sleeve, long sleeves, you know, all in, in, in particular manner. You know, so I like that. Really. If you see my last time when I was working, my team is the cleanest that you can find. I have those, you know, OCD, right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he displayed those. So when I saw him putting the slippers and, and shoes in pairs, ooh, just for me, I'm so proud of him. He got, he got my jeans inside you know, so, I was, so I was happy. Then um, he skipped crawling. I think one of the symptoms of autism is he just skipped crawling part. Wow, my son, there you go. I was so proud, you know, because it's my own son that I had. Right? So I was so happy, you know. Uh, but little that I knew that was a symptom. As I said, it's a new year of 19 years ago, the awareness was not there. Um, the internet was not there. So little of the things came in, you know. Um, it doesn't give, I think the general thing was, uh, you know, not much of the eye contact was not there at all. You know, it's like one or two seconds, boom. Um, he, he, is select, he has selective hearing. Meaning, um, let's say you all talk in front of us, you all start talking. He, he can zero in on one particular group, one particular area. He can zero in on that conversation. We can study a couple of times, and he did that. He can actually pick up from this point, regardless if it is like too noisy or not. No, he can pick up. So it's all strange, you know? but you know, at, at, at one point, you must have said earlier, this is something is not right, you know, but you don't know what it is. You know? No, you don't even want this, you know. Tanya or two of my my late mother. Don't worry, Lamba, don't get worried, you know. Imagine he at one point was jumping up and down for hours. He took a little bit. He was keep on jumping up and down. You know, that again triggers you. If something's not right here, what is it? It's alright. Uh when when uh, he doesn't have that that fear. I always have this one case that we had last time. Um, my sister stays in Shala. So there was a family gathering, I know, one day, you know, one of the days about, I think about, yeah, 18 years ago again. So all of us came together, you know, haven't seen each other for quite some time, so you know, we start to power and stuff like that. And this thing, you know, and we put hot coffee. We put hot coffee. You know, we are so into, into this step together, you know. So the balcony was not locked. The door to the balcony was not locked. Imagine this is 14th floor. 14th floor. So we sat down. You know the bar is about this size, right? We jumped from one corner to another corner. We jumped and we jumped and we jumped in the corner. It doesn't have that thing. You know, you know, those things are, you know, to us it's very strange. You know, we can't pinpoint. Finally. I think uh, Jaring, the first internet provider, came in very slowly. <laughs> very slowly. But I thank God it was there. Or, I really thank God it was there. You know? So I started Google. The word Google came out. We don't have Google those years. No. The word Google came out. So I started Googling them. And um, I Googled and Googled and Googled. Finally, um, the word autism came in. The first time, after, after having experienced this strangeness and strangeness about him, I found the word autism. And what he displayed, exactly what I was explaining the autism. 
my my heart shattered. I want this and God didn't do this. So that was the beginning of the night. I, I can't accept it. So um I went I refused to go to see the doctor at any stage. Why? Because I knew if I go to see doctors, doctor would diagnose me with mean, that's the option. I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I guess I guess uh, ladies are more um, what do you call this? Yeah. Guys are more <laughs> so um, I went to the doctors. Uh, finally after you know, at one point we went to go home. <laughs> I went through the this is a story that we like to share with kind of funny, you know. So uh, my dear mother brought bless her, you know, brought just to one home, you know. So you know what I'm home they have skills and all and all. Uh, so we went in. Um, the moment we step on this one of the uh, anger, you know, the house on the street they have anger. You know? And I heard this horrible coughing, you know, it's like a TV coughing, you know. Oh, 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 oh. You know, my mind was like, what if he spit on his uh, arm and put it on my side? <laughs> 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 Can you go ahead? Yeah, can you let the one hand tie me over my face? So what we went? You know, I'm expert, you know, we're trying to find something that you know hopefully is not autism like. Right? Um, but um, after much, uh, much what we call this um, uh, support of my dear mother, I finally went to the doctors. I, I went to the doctor no less than fifteen doctors, no less. No miss. I went to the doctor and the doctor said, uh, oh, that uh, lampad, uh, Ben likes 19, 18 years ago. I said, oh, Uncik, I feel good. So I knew, which is not. It's just that hearing the doctor said, it's good, you know, you feel good. Why was not? Like after incidents, incidents again, then I went to the doctor again. The doctor said, what is the When the doctor said, the doctor said autism, when the doctor said autism I'll stand up and argue like nobody uses the doctor. Because my refusal is he's not. He's not on the autism. So that was a refusal to me. We came from the public from this side, not this side. So we can talk a lot, you know. So I argue and argue and I do some doctor and I'm okay fine too. <laughs> but uh, I think it was ongoing. As I said, no less than 15 doctors that we went, you know. Um, I think what happened was uh, those days. The doctor was focusing on my son. Whereas I felt the doctor should focus on us, the parents, you know, get the parents' lesson. We need to be diagnosed properly, the parents. You know, because once you diagnose us, once you actually rectify what I'm talking about, what you call this wrong uh, misconception of them, it helps. So the parents need to be educated. So I guess I didn't get that, and plus I was so, you know, it's not. My argument was like non-stop, you know, so the doctor said, okay, I'm going to you know. So, uh, uh, so where, that's where the difficult journey is now. I'm not, how do I say it, I'm, I'm not proud to say what I've done to him. It's, it's, it's very difficult for me to share with you guys, you know, this is very personal. Uh, so what happened is, uh, when I didn't accept him as a person with uh, PSD and with autistic autism, I treat him as a normal child. For instance, if I asked him to say, um, behave yourself, he did not. How can I treat him? Okay, if you don't do this properly, you're going to get it. If I understand him, I accept him as his autistic, yeah, he might not respond to respond to, but I can understand him. So I treat him as such as a normal person. So when you do that, all you get from him, all I did to him was I'm not proud to say this, you know. Let me say the only share with you guys. So, when, when I treat him as such, it became 
um, slowly you, 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 you didn't notice it, you, you really didn't notice it because of, I was so clouded by my resentment towards him because he's not like any other kids. I am so resented in the sense that I, I wanted this and I had this. So the resentment was really good. All I can see from him in those days was that I would really. So much for giving me, giving me this person. Like every, you know, he grabs him, 
But that look actually sucked to my heart. Slowly, but not overnight, but slowly. So he came back up to, not, to the point of I was, what have I become? I'm not here, I'm not here. Thank you. <laughs> It's impossible to tell you that we can get it here. You know. So, um, that look in on and off every time, every day, this means every day. Every day, as I said, I said, the Jack in Gata, you know, kind of thing, you know. Um, afterwards, I said that the look there, you know, I see something new. Um, then I realized uh, 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 what have I become as a result? A monster. Monster to him. Because whenever he sees me, he, will, he can see he was so scared, you know. And my eyes were able to get that. My, my look at him was not like, we've lost him. We basically lost that father and son. He was, he was not there at all. So, up to the extreme time, if I were to sit next to him, he would move away. <laughs> if I were to actually uh, pull his head, he would just gently. Put yourself in my position, this kind of person. I mean, my, my son was like, did that to you. Did, your own son did that to you. Could you? So, uh, after my realization that I have done so much wrong to him, I tried to win his heart. So, that was another journey. I think God gave us, God, God is very great, you know. What I did to him, which I can't accept him, and when I to the point that I accept him, he wouldn't accept him. You see, because of, because of what I did to him, it's not inside of him. You know, mentally, he, was, he, was, he, he didn't recognize me as a person that I can, he, can, he can run to or not. No. So he was, he was there. He was there. So, uh, that was another, another difficult journey that I had to go through. But I guess this, I, I deserve it. For what I've done to him, and God turned it back to me now, I deserved it. So that was another painful journey that I went to get to in his heart. You know, I faced rejection from him as, as what he, I, I, I did face before. I faced rejection from him. I hold his hand, he was slowly. I can accept it, okay. I, I, I hold his hand, you know, we walked to the park of my house, just behind the park, we walked together. You know, I was going and trying my hardest to win his heart. So I walked, 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 you know, uh, hold his head. You know, after a couple of seconds, he just went to his mother. I was so much so much I sit next to him, trying to hold his head, you know, play with his fingers, you know. He just couldn't wait. Throw the walls to him, and I take him back. <laughs> really. But his mom threw the walls to him. He was coming back to the mother. You get what I mean? So it still was very hurtful. I'm feeling what he felt before. And I fully deserve that. Well, the thought is if I were to give up, not, not trying to win this for my bad, I think it would not go anywhere. So I tried and I tried. I broke it, you know, all the way, but I tried. And I won his heart back. Uh, um, I guess he might not say he's sorry. This is not good. But the way he behaves, um, after a while, he behaves towards me. Like, you know, when I sit down and uh, like, look at him, I'm happy. You know, when, when he, last night, we were not get, we were not get, just the two of us, you know. No, the first time, I, I, I lead myself to this side, and he came in happy for me. Man. You got those happy days. I don't. I don't. You, he, um, one point, he, uh, I, 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 I tucked him in bed last time. I tucked him in This one time I tucked him in bed, and, uh, I just, uh, you should always ask this. I always ask it. 
No, I, 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 I can expect there's no response. Every time I'm asking, there was no response. <laughs> but I, I want, I had so much here to have, to have to say that he loves me. I wanted that. I said, see, you get it every day. You get it every day. I don't. So I always ask, hoping that one day he will say, uh, uh, I was hoping that. I was just hoping that, basically. So one day, a couple of years back, I sat in the bed and uh, I said, uh, hey, you like this? I didn't know. Uh, so <laughs> and he looked at me. You know, he has, he has, typical, he has, he has, uh, it's not normal. So for him to speak, you know, so it's just, it took him quite a task to do that. So what happened was, um, he looked at me. Oh, this is the initial one. I mean, this is the first one. Um, he looked at me. You can see how difficult it was for me because I was facing, I was standing here, I was there. I just looked at him. It was so difficult. Without going to sit this, I saw him like, he said, I clearly, clearly remember. I can't do that very much. He said, um, Lukman, Sayu, Abba. I cried. I cried from this point. As I said, you caught it every day. I don't. I don't. So when he says this, I, I, I really, I truly believe he has given me. He has, has accepted me as I am. I would love to hear him say, um, I probably could. I'll probably get it later, and I probably don't. But I guess in the next slide, <coughs> I guess in the next slide. We'll meet him in heaven. I hope he's there. Okay. <coughs> I don't know where, where I'm going to be, but I hope I'll meet him over there. And you will be able to say, um, I hope he, he, I can hear, he says, um, that's my sister. I hope that he's there, but I hope he will say that to me. Um, move on, you know. I don't want to be in a very sad story, really, but this is what I hope to do. So I guess what made me go through this so to tell you, you know, there's, there's always reasons behind why they are not here for, for whatever it is, you know. And here for reasons only. Do not have this extraordinary ability, but he has this ability. He has, he's very straightforward, he's very um, very patient, and he listens for instruction. So, so these are the things that, that I had in that book, I saw in the um, So how do I manipulate water to to this advantage? So three things in my mind when I started this project. It's either um, lottery, uh, cafe, and uh, the other one was couch. Generally, autism kids, they have communication issues, right? So the same goes to look at. He has that. Um, so what I'm going to say is, if I were to open up, say, a, a, a lottery business, with all these needs going to do is just give you the point, and that's about it, right? There's nothing you need to explain but not this that. So if I were to do say car wash, it'll be him and the car. And the car parks off, right? <coughs> so, so there's no communication there. But if I did get it and start as the what we have now, it gives him and others to communicate. Yeah. Our cafe in the one that we have in Kucho was very, I would say to me as I term it. Autism friendly because it's a bar. They sit in the middle, they do their work, and people surround them. 
So when they did something wrong, you can actually say, hey, you know, this is not right, you should do this and this and that. So it opens up communication. We have been operating for three years. We have four success from out of ten. Two left, um, another four with us, another four. One, I, this is this boy, I, I'm really proud of him. His name is one kid. He came with us uh, when we started, it was him, me and Lukman. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even um, tap his shoulder. I couldn't even wish him good morning. And when I say to him, good morning, good morning, okay, he would say, mm. if I were to tap his shoulder, he would shy away. He refused to talk to anyone. Six months. Six months with us. He is now working in that school. Big recession. My experience with him. Um, and uh, I think last three weeks, he texted me. Out of the he texted me. He said, Uncle, how are you? Where are you? I'm okay, you know. Um, and where are you? He's working in another company as a data entry. And he has gone that far. Why? He has gone, he from unable to wash the dishes and wash the dishes now. I'm proud of that. I don't expect you to be there. Parents need to manage their education. You know, when you knew your child is not, their abilities is not this, then don't put down your expectation. Don't expect him to be the CEO or he can't. You've got to manage your expectation. So I expect my son to be a dishwasher. I'm the happiest mother. I'm the happiest mother. What happened to me was, um, we had one time, you know, as I said, he's very obedient. So use that to the advantage. Uh, we had about this table, this way, uh, about three, four, then about the side of the board. Full of dirty kids. I told you, look, man, and we washed the dishes, and we washed every single piece. Every single piece. And guess what? They enjoyed it. So when you ask them to do something that they love, or you, for that matter, if let's say you do something that you love, you tend to excel, right? The same formula, don't force them to do something that they don't like. So, what we did was that every individual in the, in the audience, they get it. We just stress out something that they love. If we have one boy in the and then we didn't expect to laugh to talk. And also, you ask him one question, and then 100 answers from him until you say, please talk. You know, what we did was good. Then we can use the lesson. You talk as much as you want to. So we, we, we enhance that, that particular section and they excel. And um, as I said, uh, the project does not rely on donation. We don't rely on donation. But if you have extra million or million you want to give to us, why <laughs> only? <laughs> donation. <laughs> but, but we rely on our own. Uh, I knew if I were to do a uh, method of an NGO, I'm sorry if there's an NGO over here, you'd be depending on donations. Like I don't want that culture. So it's difficult, it's difficult, but we managed to survive for almost three years. No, three years. And we just opened up our new cafe outlet, commercial outlet, first commercial outlet in SACC Mall last week. We worked hard, we worked hard, we, 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 we raised fun. You know what I was we raised fun to give up the spectrum. We went there, we opened up a bazaar, we bought kids, we bought them and sell that, you know. Uh, I'm not quite sure you know what story. We worked together with Mainbrae and Asa, we set up a bazaar over in front of the spectrum together. We, we, we worked closely with them. So uh, we worked with Mainbrae, and for that particular four hours, you know, the boys would produce their own product. We would produce our own product um, to fund the project. At four hours of about 10 of them, we managed to raise about 20,000. They are earning a thousand for that particular four hours. You know, we, we don't give them money, but we give them opportunity. You give them money, they might spend it on the spot. But you give them opportunity, you give them an experience, a skill. Plus, they are getting money. So, the bazaar we have is we give them one week to one location to another location. You hear that? They can use, Lukman can produce bracelets. Last month he sold 4,000 million for the 
was no way and he was ready to do that. But it's the parents. So what should I say is, you, the parents need to act. He can produce 1,000 prisoners. He can produce 2,000 prisoners. But when it was the point if the prisoners is over here, they're moving. So the parents need to find ways and need to get this out of the market. They can't. They can make. But now they can't. No, they can't. It's the parents. The therapy, if you send the kids to your therapist, please don't rely on that just too much. They might have four hours, but what about remaining 20 hours? It's the parent. So the parents need to wake up. As I said last week, he can do thousand million bracelets, but for the points, we just think of that, not moving. Um, so what we did was, um, we, we enhanced the skill, we bring them up. The bread and butter for this project, the Office project, is not from, uh, it's basically from the community. So like today, um, um, that's really uh, mission has to produce uh, food for the volunteers. So when we do that, when we start making food and all, we start selling in the hour. So the whole idea is to get them to work. So the thing is this, very much, if I were to do a 100% cafe, they will meet the same person, the same environment. But when you go out and do catering, today I might not have it here, tomorrow I might not have it as So it opens up scenarios for them. They meet up other people. So it, it actually encourages them to be more confident. Later on, you will have a look. Uh, we have uh, Hazik and uh, Atik. Atik is, uh, well, it's what, 20, 22. Very quiet. After a while, he has been with us, he started talking. That's huge. That's huge. He started talking. We have, we have, oh, I must tell you this. I must tell you this. We have uh, one boy, my name of Omar, uh, who was at the cafe uh, for about a year. Uh, anyone knows a uh, 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 TV series called Six Million Dollar Man? Uh, so that's the girl. What if I show you? If you notice, um, the six million dollar man, he has half by him. Oh, the one is from the other one. But I was at the ground. I mean, I don't know what I mean. Um, uh, he has half by him. Body. So the frame on TV, if he uses his five in power, it will go on slow mode. Omar is exactly as the uh, images, right? Uh, when he um, arrived at the cafe, he, he, you know, he walked to the, he runs to the cafe. When he runs, it's like that. Like, sorry, I have to step in so you can move. So he runs and, 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 and suddenly there was a slow mo. <laughs> and, and, and slow mo, I yeah. <laughs> So after, after that, he will freeze. You know. Freeze. Omar. <laughs> At one point, he was washing dishes. He pushed the dishes with so much intensity. And suddenly, slow. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's funny. Tell you who's going to employ you. Nobody's going to employ you. Nobody will employ you. So I hope this cafe that we, we, we created will be a solution. They need to work. Imagine if you stay at home 24 7, you go to the other So if this is an outlet for the three years, we don't have any tattoos. So my time is up already. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I have so many stories. <laughs> So anyway, so um, um, to cut things short, we have um, for the last three years we've managed to save on our own. Um, we have managed to buy a big truck on our own. So the next level is to have a centralized kitchen. You know, there's so many places out there who have diploma in catering, bakeries, so to get that nobody wants to employ them. I hope this is a solution to that. Um, I, I won't talk much about it. I mean, uh, I guess basically what we have outside there, um, we have the pickup truck, yes, you know, we have the pickup truck, but it's on post that can share, we still short about 10,000 minutes. But the CEO is so generous enough to give us the truck first. He said, we later, okay, fine, and next year. <laughs> but uh, we, 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 we were in post that can This is how we raise the money. So before you go off, please buy something and support us. We're not asking for money. Also. So I'm um, so sorry earlier stage, you know, I can't help but being, being, being you know, I, guess, I guess what we went through is, is something that we don't look forward to remember, I don't look forward to remember, but that's then. 
So thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope this will help you to actually understand my level, you to understand where we're coming from. Understand that the parents understand what is the So thank you so much for listening.
okay, you know, like he'd say, sort of try to say something to him, ask him for something. But he got, before he could really fight, I would see him already going, you know, so he was preparing himself to be, you know, worried. I, I, you know, might not be exactly the same, but I, I, I know, I've done stuff. You know, it, it is there, and, and uh, scientists will tell you for that incident of trauma, and trauma doesn't have to be something very big, like a or something. That's just something that is really a very negative experience, and you hold it in you, and it's really hard. And it take for that one little incident of trauma, it take like five hundred gates on inside, and it's been helpful. Thank you. 